Yeah, guys. Uh, this is my last day in uh, Tokyo. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be heading to Kyoto. So uh, yeah, the plan for today is Skiji Fish Market, and then after that I'm gonna go to Yokohama uh, Chinatown. You know, get some Chinese food, check that out, see how good it is. I've been kind of missing Chinese food, even though it's only been a few days. Uh, if I seem kind of out of it today, uh, I only got like four hours of sleep last night. 4 a.m. I needed to t needed to use the bathroom, and I couldn't go back to sleep after that, so I just been up since about 4:30 ish. Uh, hopefully tonight I'll get a good night's sleep, you know. So um, yeah, that's the plan today. Uh, right now, uh, I'm probably gonna go try to find like some breakfast. Maybe I'll go to Skiji for uh, breakfast. I heard, I heard they have some good food over there. So uh, let me just pack up my stuff before I get on my way to Skiji Fish Market. So uh, yeah, uh, see you then. I'm gonna try to find this train station to uh, Skiji Fish Market right now, and then maybe get something over there to eat. I got my coffee. So yeah, I'll see you in Skiji Fish Market. All right. So I headed to Skiji Fish Market, but the trip there was something else compared to the day before. The sun was beaming down on me like it was trying to bake me alive. The heat during the Japanese summers should not be underestimated at any cost. I found a bathroom at Skia, so I'm gonna go in, order some food, and uh, use the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I'll catch up, y'all. So if you don't know what Skia is, it's a restaurant that specializes in gyudon, which are beef bowls. There are three major chains, Skia, Matsuya, and Noshinoya. Sadly, I was only able to eat at this Skia this one time throughout my trip in Japan. But when I do return to Japan, I will be trying the rest of the chains. Alright, I got in here. Uh, I just ordered my food, so after I, order, after I get my food, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Alright, I got my food. Uh, it looks pretty good. I got a gyudon with uh, three cheese and an iced coffee and some apples. So, uh, I'm gonna eat and uh, yeah, it tastes pretty good. So I just got out of uh, Skia and um, yeah, I noticed some things like over the past few days. It might just be a Tokyo thing, but like you don't really absolutely need like to know Japanese. Honestly, like you could get by because a lot of the food, like in ordering, you don't even need to read. You just kind of point at you, and it's like a tablet. You just click on it, and then you go to the counter and pay. You don't even need to interact with anyone, literally. Like it's so convenient. But also, I, I kind of want to go to a place that I have to use my Japanese because I, I kind of worked on it for three years, and you know, it might be bad, but like I want to try it at least. So, whatever. So I got done with Skia. Uh, right now I'm in Skiji Market. Yeah, I'm gonna try some food. Even though I just ate. Uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, Nango onegaishimasu. Kon? Kon? Domo. I should probably stop somewhere and eat it. I'll eat it this random corner yeah I was as I was saying um you don't really need to know Japanese because like a lot of the time you could just point at stuff and it works it just works another thing uh, the walking without eating it's kind of like a cultural thing but like it's more like a necessity because it, it's so crowded been to someone oh my god it will be so messy I understand why that they don't walk eat because there's so many people, like there's so much movement and so fast that it just does not make sense. So uh, let's go find some more food. Alright, I found a stall I want to eat. Uh, they sell ikayaki, which is uh, grilled squid. So uh, I'm gonna try the ikayaki. Uh, 
ですけど、あ、一回やって一つ、一つください。いや、一、one。six hundred。はい、このノート大丈夫。ああ、もう一回やりたいと思います。I kind of want to try it like at an actual restaurant and not a stall because I don't know if it's going to be the same. I'm going to try, I'm going to try、uh, alcohol since I just turned 20 like a few weeks ago. And 20 is the age for drinking in Japan, so I'll, I'll have like a cup of sake in my hotel room or something. Exciting for that. Or maybe a beer. I don't know. Owning a car here must be like hell because, like, the streets are so small and like so many people like walking that, like, it, it must actually be like hell here to just drive. Wagyu beef sushi, top sirloin. They say wagyu, but I don't know what kind of wagyu. Wagyu literally just means beef. Like, wagyu, like, you is just beef. Like, what? Like, it has to have like a grade. So I'm just gonna keep searching back when I find something interesting. Alright, I found a place that was clear with where to order. So,、uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wait. And、uh, it looks pretty good. So, they have like these like,、uh, plastic ones in front, like as display. I hope they're display. Because if they're not, then they would go bad. Like, I got my Unagi skewer. Ooh, that is that is falling off. That that piece just fell off like completely. This looks really good, so I'm gonna eat the d a k i m a s You can't really see my face here. Let me see. Okay, there we go. It, it just keeps falling off. Oh my god. So much better than the, than the stuff in the States. The stuff in the States is kind of chewy. This just falls. This just falls apart. <sighs> okay, it looks like I'm ascending to heaven right now. Maybe I am. But yeah, anyway, onwards to my, the, whatever's next, I guess. Okay, I just went to Lawson's to get、uh, a boss coffee. I didn't know how to order the iced coffee, so I just got it. And、uh, I know I said I was full, but.、Uh, I got their chicken, so、uh, let's try this. I heard Lawson's chicken's pretty good, so. I really should not be eating this. I'm gonna save the rest for later. My stomach, my stomach is like on fire right now. So,、uh, fuku, I learned a word. Fukuro means bag. Fukuro means bag, so I got that now.、Uh, so, right now I'm gonna go to head towards、uh, the bathroom again. I need a bathroom. This is, this is gonna be a very recurring issue with me. Welcome to my bathroom adventures across the world, country Japan. Don't worry, I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom and、uh, get out of here and head towards,、uh, head towards the, the stair scene from your name because my brother wants to see that. Take pictures of it and then I'm gonna go to Shibuya Station and then maybe Kabukicho. Alright, so I、uh, got off the train、uh, trying to find the、um, kind of stairs for, from your name so I could take a picture for my brother. <coughs> so, yeah, let's see where this is. After I take a picture of that, I just kind of want to chill somewhere. I just want to chill, man. I need to exit gate two. I've been walking so much. I'm pretty sure I have calluses on my feet. Tip if you do go to Japan, bring a good pair of shoes. You'll, you'll thank me.
a good pair of shoes. Oh my god, I've been walking so much. Maybe that's why I'm so hungry. Or maybe I'm just fat, honestly. Give me either one. Oh, they have a KFC here. All right, I found the directions. So I'm gonna be start. I'm gonna start heading there. Uh, it's about a 13 minute walk. So uh, yeah, I'll see you when I. I'll see you when I get there. I was feeling pretty out of it at this point, but this was my last day till I headed to Kyoto. And my older brother wanted some photos from the staircase that your name took place at. So alas, I dragged myself to the staircase. I didn't record this part because my mental state was slowly evaporating, but here's some photos I took of the staircase. There were some other people who I assume are also your name fans, but the staircase was cool. I didn't really remember the movie since I watched it so long ago, but my brother seemed happy about the pictures I took. There was this shrine that I spent a good hour recovering at near the staircase. It was a nice getaway from the hustle and bustle of Tokyo. It was nice and quiet with some people going up to the shrine area to pray. I would have done it, but I felt like I would have messed up some part somehow. So I just decided to sit down on the bench and watch from a distance. After spending an hour there, I decided to head to the infamous crosswalk at Shibuya. All right, uh, I took pictures of the your name slash Kimi no Naiwa, uh, you know, stairs scene place from my siblings so I got that done with um, took a break at a at a local shrine it's pretty nice really comfortable now I'm heading to Shibuya so I can go to take a picture of the JJK scene where Maharaga got beaten by Sukuna and then I'm gonna head to the Pokemon Center because as you probably didn't know uh, I used to be an addict for Pokemon cards, so time to reignite that. So uh, I'll see you in Shibuya. Yo guys, uh, I'm at the coveted spot of the Shibuya crossing, you know, where the Shibuya incident went down, and uh, JJK, yeah. Pretty nice. Uh, very loud. It's very loud. I don't really like loud things. But yeah. That's cool. They have an Elden Ring. They have a. I don't know what that is. Oshinoko. Uh, Gasto. I need to try that place. But uh, yeah. And I just wanted to show this because it looks pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna get lost here. Yeah. It says that I have to go this way, I think. I just need to not get ran over at this point. There's a lot of people. I mean, you've probably seen this a million times at this point. Oh my god, it's so loud. <laughs> you know, it's not as bad as... Not as bad as the photos that I've seen. So, uh... Oh wow, one piece and quintuplets. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna find the Pokemon Center and enter because I'm dying out here. It's so hot, still, it's still so hot. Okay, I'll see you there. So apparently the Pokemon Cafe, I mean Pokemon Center, is an a um, mall. So, that's interesting. Um, I wonder if it's just gonna be like a gift shop or, or like a cafe. I hope it's like a cafe because I really would like to sit down. Or I could just go to like a random cafe or something. Okay, this is interesting. They have an entire Nintendo Capcom section up here in Shonen Jump. Oh. I, I see the Pokemon Center over there. Yeah, uh, hold on. Yeah, so they have an entire Nintendo section right there. And then a cap fan. And then a Shonen Jump over there. And the Pokemon Center's over there, I see. So. Look at my boy Luffy right here. My boy Luffy. Oh, they have like 
my, my, my gambling addiction. I, my, I can't. When I go to Akihabara, I'll just do more claw machines. This is so cool. No, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna explore there. Look at my boy. Look at my, my look at my boy Mewtwo right here. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. It's actually really cool. I'm gonna visit the Pokemon shop. I wanna know where the cards are. I gotta gamble. That's, that's, that's literally my thing. I'm just gambling at this point. It's my entire reason for this trip, just gambling. Sleeves. But no cards. Where's the cards? They have energy cards, but those aren't really worth much. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick look around and uh, see what's there, and then I'll get on my way to Kabukicho. And yeah, I'll tune you in if anything interesting happens. All right, so I uh, just left the Pokemon Center wasn't really anything interesting in there besides clothing and stuff. Uh, I did realize something. Everyone has like drip, like actually. Like everyone in that store has so much drip. Like they look like models, like actual. Like, and then, and then I'm just here just with my Australian bucket hat. I'm just like, oh, why well, might? But like, I'm just gonna go to Ka Kabukicho, Kabukicho. The, it's called the red light district in daylight because I'm not I'm not going during night maybe 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 on my maybe when on my second stay in Tokyo I'll go during night and see how that is but first day I'm gonna go during daytime after that I might hit up with uh, Ikebukuro or uh, Akihabara maybe both honestly because it's already it's only three I still have quite a lot of time I just gotta find my train and uh, yeah. All right. I finally made it. I made it to uh, Kabukicho. I see the red sign. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, red Kabukicho sign. Kabukicho. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I think, I think I'm just gonna go to, I think I'm just gonna go to my hotel, because I'm really tired right now. I'm just gonna rest in my hotel for a bit. Uh, you can't really see me. Oh, there we go. I think I'm just gonna go to my hotel, and um, yeah, because I am really tired. I do not feel like doing anything else today. I've been traveling a lot. So, ah, uh, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, I'll see you at my hotel. Once I got back to my hotel, I made the executive decision to not record for the rest of the day. I felt so burdened to keep recording that I almost forgot that this trip was meant for me to explore and have fun in Japan and take my time there. So I decided that this night I would just go out and not record and that's what I did. And later on the trip, I did try to make a more balanced schedule. I ended my last night in Tokyo by eating some ramen and trying beer for the first time. I didn't take a photo of the ramen because uh, I just started chomping down on it like it was given by God. But I got a picture of the beer. The ramen was really good, better than any ramen I had in the States. But the beer, not so great. Maybe because it was my very first time trying alcohol. But to me, it just tasted like rotten fruit. I only had a few sips and left the rest of it. Once I got on the ramen place, though the sun was setting the city just turned to this beautiful golden color 
and it kind of made me sad that I would be leaving this great city so soon. I felt like I didn't have enough time to fully immerse myself, but also grateful that I was able to at least get to experience Tokyo for the first time, even if it was only for a few days. And I knew I would return at the end of my trip and wondered how I would feel at the end compared to how I felt at that moment. Would I feel like I had the best time in the world or would I feel exhausted and lonely for my solo trip? But after walking around just admiring the city, I went to my hotel and prepped for another city that was awaiting me to explore. The great city of Kyoto. So on the next episode, I will be exploring Kyoto and checking out what they have to offer. So till next episode, you weebs, Redacted Weeb out. Mata ne.